Hey guys, it is time for you to decide on your A-levels, but there are some subjects you need to be wary of or be cautious of before you take them. So Eve Bennett has made a fantastic video for my channel, giving you her advice on how to pick your A-level subjects, and here are just a few little bits of advice from me. So, universities have a list of what they call soft subjects. They have a list of facilitating subjects, I've done a separate video on that, but there are some soft subjects that universities um, don't really count. Now this is going for all universities, we're mainly talking about like the Russell Group universities or like Oxbridge universities. So the really, really hard places to get into. But if that's what you're aiming for, you need to pick hard A-levels, not what we call soft or easy A-levels. So what I mean by soft A-levels? I talk about media studies, photography, accounting, film studies, um, art, leisure, PE, design technology, home economics, dance, drama. Now, if you want to go on and be a PE teacher, obviously you need to have PE A level. That that would be a good thing. If you want to go on and be an artist or a photographer then arts and photography A level are really, really good things. But if you want to go on and be an accountant, accounting A level isn't necessarily going to do you any good. You're much better going to be choosing things like maths and economics, harder subjects, but not business studies. They don't like business studies. Economics is your better choice. Now, these are seen as like easy or soft options by universities and sometimes they just won't count them in their entrance requirements. Sometimes they'll just ignore those, which will knock you down to two A-levels. Now, we're not talking about all universities here, so if you're not sure, just go and have a look at a few universities or um, just go and ask your career advisor if you have one in school. Or if you really need help, come and ask me and I'll do my very, very best to find out for you. But you need to be aware of this because it would be awful if you got to the, the UCAS application stage and you put your media, your art and your photography A-levels on there and the university is turned around and said, what are you doing these for? So um, you need to think seriously about your A-level choices now. Now I know this is hard because you've got a lot of other stuff going on as well. So I'm going to do loads and loads of advice videos and I'm going to do my very, very best to help you out. Um, if you do have any questions, just pop it in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you.